Nashville, Tennessee. It's the three. And here's your host, Laura Harris-Smith. Hey everybody, I'm Laura Harris-Smith and welcome to The Three. We are in Dallas, Texas at the Debs event, Debra's United Conference, headed up by Mike and Cindy Jacobs, Generals, Generals International, and they invited me here to preach. I actually got to share twice. So we're gonna jump right into the first time that I did that and I hope that you enjoy. Here it is. But I believe that there are some of you here today falling into four groups. I'm going to pray some things over you. And that is, some of you have a calling to politics, or you feel a burden on you to pray for your political leaders. Some of you, it's the arts. Some of you, it's education. You're either teachers, or you feel a burden for, maybe just when you watch the news, what's happening in our public school systems. And then the legal system. And here's why I'm what the Lord brought to my mind in October, last day of October in 2001, I was in a crowd of about a couple of thousand people. You all remember Prophet Kim Clement? So it was a really hard time for my family. My six children and my husband and I, we went to the War Memorial Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee. And I wanted us to all sit on the front row or, or somewhere in here, you know, the front section. And we get there, and my my children, their teenage down to the baby was on my you know shoulder here. And some of them, their friends start asking them, "Can we go sit here? Can we go sit there? Can we go sit?" And I was like, "No, no, no, no! I need everybody right here so that the prophet can look and say, Hark, who art thou that take up the whole road? You need a word from the Lord.'" And uh, and you know you know what I'm talking about. You need that word, and you're just gonna make it happen. And my husband said, Laura, or is your man? He said, Laura, if they're here, their friends are here to see a prophet on a Friday night, they're good kids. So the children scattered. We had three with us. Kim begins, he says, he picks my son out up here in this balcony, and he prophesies over him. And you know how Kim did popcorn prayers? He'd leave you standing, and he'd come over here, and then he'd do over here, and leave you standing, and then... He picks out my three, three of my children in the balcony, one after the other. He did not know us. He picks them all out. And then he hears the, the crowd murmuring. Some of them knew us. He said, what? They're related. <laughs> and here's what he said. with the other three and he says you have some anointed children my god my god you have some anointed children and your family will rock in these four arenas politics the arts education and the legal system and we got our word from the lord that was 21 years ago and they have come to pass one after the other and the lord reminded me as i walk through those doors today now i want you to release these over them so i want you to just raise your hand at me if you have a burden for politics or our, our system of government you know i release right now into you a governmental anointing don't don't let the enemy trick you into thinking uh, when people accuse you oh you're just being political no here's what you say to them my god is government i can't get away from government god is government i'm not political but i release favor over you favor that you would be able to go into doors that you never were able to go into before the lord is going to open those doors you're going to go in with confidence and you're going to pray you're going to pray for political leaders that's what began to happen to me within weeks of this word being spoken over me any of you are creatives. Wave your hands at me, creatives. Oh, come on. Wave them higher than that. I declare over you. I see, I, I see like it's almost like lavender look 
looking. I see something coursing through your veins right now, and it is such a new wind of creativity. You are able to hear better, see, see better, create, create, create. I impart to you that creative anointing right now. Come on, you're going to have new songs, new sounds. You're going to have new ideas. You're going to write books. There are books in this room. There's songs in this room. There's paintings and sculptings and dances in this room. Woo! Receive them all right now. And you're going to go back to your hotel rooms and write them down. I gotta hurry. All right, educators, stand up. Jesus. Oh, these are the gatekeepers of our future presidents, Lord. Oh, these are the gatekeepers. Lord, I just pray right now that you would hedge these in, these missionaries to our education system. Oh, God. Oh, do not let them be constrained by the rules of what they can and cannot say. The Lord says, your tongue is mine. It's mine and I will use you to minister to these children that are mine. Whew. And these young adults, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Give them the words to say and the lessons to teach. Finally, the legal system. If you're in a legal battle, raise your hand at me. This came up last night. And those of you who are in the legal field, any lawyers here? Okay, this is a special one. This didn't even come to pass until this, really this last uh, year of my life. I got drug into something. They tried to plant a cell tower in the backyard of the wrong person, mine, 50 yards from my house. Neighborhood couldn't afford a lawyer. And they said, Laura, you can do it. You can do it. I don't have time to take on a cell tower company. I, I'm a minister. I got better things to do. And the Lord said, no, Laura, you do it. I'm going to teach you something. So I had to take a major cell phone carrier company to, to court. And I didn't know what I was doing. I had to write a legal brief. I had to do all of these things that a lawyer should have to do. And nine lawyers turned us down. Nobody wanted to take on this cell tower company. And I would go out there and I'd stand and I'd point at that thing. They built it anyway. They didn't ever turn it on. Stand and prophesy to it. So I want you to picture whatever it is that right now that you need to look at and prophesy over. And you're going to point to it. And you're going to say, how dare you taunt the armies of the living God? God will this day deliver you into my hands. You uncircumcised Philistine. <laughs> They came back and they said that technically that, that we could not prevent this. But let me tell you what's happened. They have now bought land out in the woods and they're moving the town. Take it. Take it, justice. Come on, the Lord's giving you justice right now. Put your hands in the air if you need justice. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Justice is coming your way, but you are going to have to get out of bed and get your slingshot. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more from the Debs United Conference in Dallas, Texas, after the break. Neuromatics Oil is a family of therapeutic-grade patented oil blends created by nutritionist and author Laura Harris-Smith. Invented for her own lifelong journey for neurological health, Quiet Brain now helps those worldwide who suffer from insomnia, migraines, anxiety, seizures, tremors, and more. Quiet Brain contains oils like frankincense, myrrh, lavender, sandalwood, and others. Next, Happy Brain is a bright mood-lifting citrus blend and contains oils like lemon, lime, clementine, spearmint, and more. Users say it combats depression and even aids in weight loss. Next is Sharp Brain, Laura's focus blend, also used to improve cognitive memory issues with oils like coffee, cinnamon, vanilla, clove, and others. Each $69.95 bottle is a 10-week supply if used daily, or about a dollar a day. And right now, buy two bottles and get the third one free, and get a free eye mask using the promo code on your screen at neuromaticsoil.com or at 1-855-784-3827. That's 1-855-QUIETBRAIN. A lady is a lens. Yes, a lens. Game food! I lens. What's your name? Ray. 
<laughs> I'm a bubble. Ah! I got one. I'm gonna hold it. That's face. <laughs> big green, you win the big green, you win the big green. You win the big green, you win the big green. They win the big green. to be here. I am a naturopathic doctor. Um, I really wanted to give you what I think you would consider to be a very spiritual word, but, but the heart, I think what the Lord wants to do today is um, he wants me to speak to your minds. We're going to be talking a lot today about feelings. I love to get people healthy, body, mind, and spirit. That's, that's why my show is called The Three. It's body, mind, and spirit. I am tired of the body of Christ putting ammunition in the devil's gun because they are, they are out of shape, they are out of their minds, they are sad, they're depressed, they, they cannot seem to even get out of bed in the morning and have a joy in life. And I want the army of God to be the envy of the world. I want you to be the envy of the world. <laughs> All right, how many of you packed a suitcase? This, I just answered my own question. So many of you came from out of town. You packed a suitcase. How many of you packed jewelry? Have you ever gone to take your jewelry out of your suitcase afterwards and it was all tangled up? Yeah. Did that happen to anybody this week? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm talking to you today about feeling. So I wake up Thursday to this dream and I see all of this jewelry and it's like clumped together in this drawer and it is so tangled up and not only that but when I go to try to lift it up in the dream it's stuck with like syrup or something on the shelf and I, it is sticky and tangled and I thought well, that was the weirdest dream you know I don't dismiss any dream but I thought that was real I just tucked it away kind of tucked away. Well, sure enough, I get up and I had, we had just filmed this spring, we had filmed something like 20 shows in a row. And so I had to take everything, pack everything up, you know, 20 shows, that's 20 outfits, 20 changes of jewelry, 20, everything. And so, um, wow, I had not straightened all that jewelry. It had traveled and I had not gotten any of it, you know, untangled. And I'm sitting there and literally, oh, it was, and they, I counted 13 necklaces, about 10 bracelets, and countless earrings. And they were all so twisted up to each other. Wow. And, I, and particularly, there was these two gold ones. They had the identical chain. They were identical looking. And I was like, how am I ever going to get those two apart? And as I was sitting there, just in the middle of doing life, the Holy Spirit said, go look up the Hebrew word for clasp. Because I saw these two clasps on these two necklaces, and they just weren't going to let go of each other. And I didn't know how I was going to get them untangled. I was like, Lord, I'm busy. Just give me just a minute. <laughs> give me just a minute. You know, you got your finger you're holding it like this, and you're trying to get them all. So I laid it all down very carefully, and I go and I look it up. I said, come off. It's a Hebrew word and it means to embrace. Put your hand on the back of your necklace on the clasp. Just remember that. To embrace. It means to clasp or to embrace. And, and as I'm trying to untangle these necklaces, I'm realizing this is, this is how we feel sometimes on the inside. This is a picture of our relationships. This is a picture of our brains and how we are constantly just trying to just muddle through life and being hurt. And you know in scripture he tells you if you do not forgive as you've been forgiven, he will turn you over to the tormentors. I have seen so many blood-bought, saved, spirit-filled, Sunday school teaching Christians turned over to tormentors by God. Wow. Because they wouldn't forgive. Wow. So I'm, I'm untangling my necklaces. I'm making pretty good progress. And I get them all, you know, laid out. I'm just... I'm, 
as I'm going along, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about being here with you, shifting gears. And I just wanted to, I wanted to urge you that in your relationships, because I know that you have many, be patient. You're going to get tangled up with people and it's going to get sticky sometimes. But these are the most beautiful things that adorn every outfit. It's the last thing you reach for before you, you know, you get all ready and you do your hair and then you go over and you put your jewelry on and it kind of sets everything. These are the relationships in your life. And when I asked the Lord, as it came down to those final two on those chains that were identical and I couldn't get the clasps, they weren't, the clasps were together, but the chains were all tangled up. And I said, Lord, I don't think I'll ever solve this one. And then he said, Laura, every person you've had the most struggle with in your life that offended you the worst and hurt you the worst was just like you. And that's why you didn't think you were ever going to work it out. Wow. And I kind of want to just throw both necklaces away, honestly. <laughs> I think I got them on Amazon. Maybe they're not that expensive, but I knew the Holy Spirit was in this and I was going to have to get them untangled. Mm. He helped me get them untangled. And I started thinking back to the relationships that I have had where there's been this, you know. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just want to tell him or oh, I just want to tell her or why. Do I do that to people, Lord? I've got six kids, and, and my three daughters are just amazing, okay? So the first one, we, we think a lot alike. I say she's my mind. My second one, we, we process the same. She's my intercessor. We process things the same in our hearts, and we feel the same. So she's my heart. The third one is my mouth. <laughs> and she and I speak the same. I mean... She actually handles my emails and my communications as an assistant because she sounds exactly like me. So she'll come to me, we'll discuss it, she'll form it, she'll send it out for me. This is Genesis, this is Genesis. Yeah, yeah. And so sometimes, and I want you to think about who that person is in your life, that chain that's just like you. And you're probably experiencing some entanglement right now. So once I got those done, I knew that I was supposed to come here today and just talk to you, talk you through some of these things. Because guess what? God gave you feelings. Mm -hmm. Feelings are valid. Yeah. Do you know he has feelings? Yeah. He does. So why did he give you feelings? Well, because you were made in his image. Let us make man in our image. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So if he has feelings and you have feelings and he gives you, he allows you to feel these feelings, what is it for? It is to prompt you to do something. And since Matthew 22 tells us the greatest commandment is to love God and, and love others as ourselves, that usually means that your feelings are going to be used as a prompting to do something for God or for others. They are not for you to go, well, you know, you wronged me. If any of you have ever used scripture, you know the scriptures of Matthew, and they talk about if you're, if you're at the altar and your brother's offended you or you've offended your brother. I mean, there's, there's scriptures that go both ways. If you are the one in the wrong, you need to go. But it also says, go and tell your brother your fault. There are some of you who really love that scripture. <laughs> and you want to go tell your brother or your sister all of their faults. And it sounds something like this. I want you to know, I forgive you. <laughs> but it really hurt me when. But don't worry, I forgave you even before you did it. <laughs> that's, that's really not forgiveness. And it just stirs up all this muck. Well, I know you, here's a, somebody said this to me. I know you would want me to be honest and tell you you really hurt me. And you know what, honestly, if I, if I went to every person that hurt me, I would never get anything Come else on. done. I once preached a sermon Come on forgiveness many years ago. I've actually preached it twice. And I have accumulated an outfit 
that every single thing I'm wearing, every piece of jewelry, earrings, shirt, every shoes, was given to me by somebody that hurt me terribly. Wow. And I get through with the entire sermon, and then that's the big reveal. I am dressed head to toe in things that people who at one time I loved gave me and yeah, yeah. hurt me. Yeah, yeah. But God turned it into something nice. Come on. And I, and I do it because people seem to think that they have the right to go and say whatever it is that they need to say. No, 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 no. You do not need to do that. You need to choose the higher road, the Proverbs road, which says it is to a man's glory to overlook an offense. And if you will do that, listen, we're all crying out for the glory here today, aren't we? Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a dangerous prayer because you're going to have to forgive somebody this week. Somebody's going to offend you this week and you're going to have to overlook it. If you want the glory of God, I am a living testament to you. You are going to have to overlook offenses. Be the adult. Be the grown-up. Forgive. And if you get an apology one day, it's a cherry on top. If you don't, you got the glory of God on you. Which I would rather have any day of the week. Stay close because after the break, we've got more from the Deborah's United Conference in Dallas, Texas. Neuromatics Oil is a family of therapeutic grade patented oil blends created by nutritionist and author Laura Harris Smith. Invented for her own lifelong journey for neurological health, Quiet Brain now helps those worldwide who suffer from insomnia, migraines, anxiety, seizures, tremors, and more. Quiet Brain contains oils like frankincense, myrrh, lavender, sandalwood, and others. Next, Happy Brain is a bright mood lifting citrus blend and contains oils like lemon, lime, clementine, spearmint, and more. Users say it combats depression and even aids in weight loss. Next is Sharp Brain, Laura's Focus Blend, also used to improve cognitive memory issues with oils like coffee, cinnamon, vanilla, clove, and others. Each $69.95 bottle is a 10-week supply if used daily, or about a dollar a day. And right now, buy two bottles and get the third one free, and get a free eye mask using the promo code on your screen at neuromaticsoil.com or at 1-855-784-3827. That's 1-855-QUIETBRAIN. I'm naturopathic Dr. Laura Harris-Smith, and if you'll give me 10 days, Give It to God and Go to Bed can help you stress less, sleep better, and dream more. There are even links inside to my free 10 Days to Deeper Sleep and Dreams program and 10 Good Night videos. Can you close your eyes and just still listen to me? The whole book takes place in your bedroom and with chapter titles like The Junk Under Your Bed, The Treasures in Your Bedroom, and The Monsters in Your Closet. Give It to God and Go to Bed helps you learn to rest and hear God speak in dreams. Take back your sleep and dreams, my friend, with Give It to God and Go to Bed. When Eve is in the Garden of Eden, it's before she's, you know, God's prophesied the Messiah, stomping on her, he's going to, you're bruising uh, your heel, he's bruising your heel, but you're going to crush his head, and he's prophesying Jesus the Messiah. Long before that, she's given the temptation to eat the fruit, and he really plays on her feelings. She says, God says we will die. And he says, he goes, you will not surely die. You'll be like God. And, and then she goes by how she's felt, which is, feels, which is what the world is telling you to do right now. Go with your heart. Follow your heart. Right? That's, that didn't end up going very well for her. Because what he actually said to her is so telling. He said, you will not surely die. When you look up that word, die, it's the Hebrew word muth. Surely is the same word, move. So he said, you will not die, die. Like last night, I wanted to take some things back to the hotel. I said, let's take it home. Not home, home, but home to the hotel. He, the, the serpents lied to her. He lied to her and he said, you will not die, die. Well, she didn't die, die right there. She didn't fall down and die. But because she gave in to her feelings, it didn't have a good ending, did it? So, I want you to remember, never let your feelings deceive you. When I was a very young mother, my children would sometimes see me disappear. I'd go like into another room. Um, I, would, I would need to just go and be alone with the Lord. My, my mood would change. My mood would change entirely. I would get really sad. What happened? Something just happened. What, why am I sad? Everybody's fine. Nobody's, you know, why am I sad? 
And as soon as I would go and be with Jesus, and he would show me, that is the burden of the Lord. Here's who you need to be praying for. And I would pray, I pray in the spirit until I heard who that person was. And then I would pray for that person and it would lift. And I'd go back and be mom again. The Lord told me to tell you ladies today that there are many here who think you are bipolar. And the Lord says, no, 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 you're an intercessor. <laughs> so I want you to get up on your feet if there is, if, and I'm talking about feelings today, but I'm also talking about men, your mental and your emotional health. If you have mental illness in your family, depression, anxiety, any of it, yes, go ahead, you're already standing up. Come on down here, run down here. It can just be in your family even. Say, Father, I give my feelings to you. I do not have mental illness. <laughs> I have a call upon my life. I will carry the burden of the Lord. And I will hear the voice of the Lord and I will pray for who I'm supposed to pray for. Now I want to I want to show you this. I'm not trying to tell you that I do not believe that people have maladies. I know that they do, and I am not trying to tell you that if you have been diagnosed as such, I don't want to get this ministry in trouble. I want to make sure you know there are people who definitely need prayer to overcome a legitimate chemical imbalance. That's why I made Happy Brain for depression. That's why I made the Quiet Brain, which calms my neurological issues uh, for all of that, and my headache, migraine, uh, insomnia, and it's the sharp brain, which is for cognitive and memory issues. But I never let any, I never tell anybody to buy these oils unless they have prayed what I just prayed over you. Because God may be calling you as an intercessor to change the world with him. And you've got to untangle your feelings and get them out of the way, forgive, refuse to be a person of offense, of offense receive the glory of God, and then that is how you can be moved and be used mightily of the Lord. Are you ready for that? Were you blessed? Oh, I hope that you were blessed by that word. Your feelings are important. God gave you feelings for a reason. We have to be careful. We can't be deceived by our own feelings. We have to weigh everything and allow the Lord to be the one who tells us why we're feeling what we feel. Subject those to Him. Take every thought captive. All right. Another great episode of The Three. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you to Mike and Cindy Jacobs for making Debs United a reality. Where women all over the world can be empowered God's way. Raised up and be a voice for him in this generation. I'm Laura Harris Smith. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the three. Tune in next time for another great. Bye bye, everybody.